Thank you for joining us for our daily Bible reading again today. Through the New Testament is our goal through 2021, where we try to make weekdays our strong days with the New Testament and the Word of God. We're in Acts chapter 3 in the English Standard Version. Now Peter and John were going up to the temple at the prayer, hour of prayer, the ninth hour, and a man lame from birth was being carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple that is called the beautiful gate, to ask alms of those entering the temple. Seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked to receive alms, and Peter directed his gaze at him, as did John, and they said, Look at us. And he fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. But Peter said, I have no silver and gold, but what I do I, I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. And leaping up, he stood and began to walk and entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God and recognized him as the one who sat at the beautiful gate of the temple asking for alms. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. While he clung to Peter and John, all the people, utterly astounded, ran together to them in the portico called Solomon's. And when Peter saw it, he addressed the people, Men of Israel, why do you wonder at this, or why do you stare at us as though by our own power or piety we have made him walk? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant Jesus, whom you delivered over and denied in the presence of Pilate when he had decided to release him. But you denied the holy and righteous one and asked for a murderer to be granted to you, and you killed the author of life whom God raised from the dead. To this we are our witnesses. And his name, by faith in his name, has made, his, made this man strong whom you see and know. And the faith that is through Jesus has given the man this perfect health in the presence of you all. And now, brothers, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. But what God foretold by the mouth of all the prophets, that as Christ would suffer, he thus fulfilled. Therefore repent and turn back, that your sins may be blotted out, that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send the Christ appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the time for restoring all the things about which God spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets long ago. Moses said, The Lord God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your brothers. You shall listen to him and whatever he tells you, and it shall be that every soul who does not listen to that prophet shall be destroyed from the people. And all the prophets who have spoken from Samuel and those who came after him also proclaim these days. You are the sons of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your fathers, saying to Abraham, And in your offspring shall all the families of the earth be blessed. God, having raised up his servant, sent him to you first to bless you by turning every one of you from your wickedness. So as we review chapter 3 and consider what might be the big point of chapter 3, it certainly is about how Peter and the apostles drew all of the attention about every miracle they performed and every message that they proclaimed that it was all about Jesus. In the healing of the man, why are you surprised, Peter said, we could not do this on our own. It has to be by God. And so too, when Peter turned his attention to the people, the nation, to recognize what they had done in rejecting the Holy One, Peter says, it's not us, it's Jesus to whom you should repent and return to God from your wicked ways. A lesson for us all, to recognize that God is really in charge of everything, and it is before him that we will give an answer for the deeds we have done in our body, and it will be because of him that we can stand before him justified. 
Thank you so much for joining me today and join me again tomorrow for another lesson to make your wheat days strong days. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let your love increase. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Walls of pride and prejudice shall cease. When we are your instruments of peace. Where there is hatred, we will sow his love. Where there is injury, we will never judge. Where there is striving, we will speak his peace. To the people crying instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let your love increase. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Walls of pride and prejudice shall cease. When we are your instruments of peace, Instruments of peace.